Welcome to artworkexplained.com.au. In this lesson, I will explain how to redraw a logo using Adobe Illustrator CS3. And if you'd like to follow along in more detail, you can also click on the PDF next to the topic how to redraw a logo, which is found at artworkexplained.com.au. So here we are in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator CS3. I go up to File and New because I want to create a new document. Let's name the file, and I've named it logo redraw example.ai. The orientation is landscape, and the size is A4, and that's fine. Please make sure your color mode's always in CMYK, never RGB. Raster effects and preview mode, just leave it as is. So I click OK, and here's our new page. Firstly, I need to place the logo that we're redrawing, so I go to File, Place, click on the logo, and click Template press place and it's automatically placed it into a layer and made it a template layer so in other words it's locked we can't move it at the moment and if I double click on the file it's selected the template so it's made the image at 50% this just enables us when we're redrawing over it um, it's just like putting tracing paper over a black image it just dulls it down so we can more focus on the part that we're actually redrawing um, and make sure we've got the layer one highlighted, not the bottom layer. So I'll just close that down again. Okay, the first thing I'd like to do is redraw the type. So let's zoom in on the type, like so. And let's go over to our T tool and just click once. And we need to type out the, the words. So the words for the first line is logo redraw. Now, automatically, it's allocated a typeface that is not exactly the same as the one in the logo. So we need to go up to our character tool. And I know that this is Helvetica Bold. Uh, Helvetica is probably one of the nicest typefaces in the world, but that's just my opinion. So let's type in Helvetica and take it to Bold. Let's drag it up using the black arrow tool. And just close that down. And I'm going to press Shift, Click, Drag. Notice how it's uh, nicely scaling it up. If I had have just gone click drag, it distorts the logo or dist distorts the type. So please make sure you've you go click or shift click drag, and that uh, scales it perfectly. So let's just zoom in on the L and move it down. Just zoom out a little bit more just to make sure everything lines up, and that's a perfect fit, I think. Okay, we now need to do the word example. Now the quickest way to do it is using the black arrow tool, click, option, shift, and drag it down. And there we have repeated the type, and uh, we can now highlight this type and type the word example. Using the black arrow tool once again, move it up to the, the correct line, pressing shift, click and drag, Go back to the first character using the black arrow tool. Make sure everything's lined up. It's just a little bit out. Remember, press shift and click drag. And there you have it. You've uh, basically redrawn the type. So I automatically want to uh, convert this to outlines. So using the black arrow tool, I go click, drag over the two types, go up to type, create outlines, and there you have it. Uh, it's another good way to triple check your accuracy and go up to view go to outline And you can see how accurately you've uh, redrawn that type and that's pretty much spot-on Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's now move on to the circle triangle square and star The first thing I need to do is set up some guides around the circle always remember when you're working on a logo always work from the outside in because if you do that it means it's just like an archaeological dig. The first thing you put down will be at the bottom, the second, third, so on and so forth will be above that. So that's what we want to do. So let's bring up the rulers so we can bring down some guides. Go up to view, show rulers. I'm going to view up uh, very close up the top here. Click drag like that. I'll just do that one again. Spot on. I also want to do a center line as well. Okay, do the side, click drag, click and drag, the bottom, click drag, 
and then the side click and drag okay so now that we've done that I'm just going to zoom into that area and let's go over to our shape tool and pressing option and clicking the shapes it just cycles through and now that's uh, the file the ellipse tool is the one that I want so go over to the top left hand corner <clears throat> click and drag down and there you have it oh please make sure that um, your smart guides are selected and also snap to point so I'll just do that again go click and drag and because smart guides are selected and also snap to point it just made that process a lot easier to do so there we have it we've done the circle first now I'm going to deselect for that and pick up my pen tool I'm also going to uh, change the color because I'm going to do a tr white triangle and I know in my PDFs I've uh, um, done this step a different way but this is just a quicker way so I click the, the square drag this down to white or you could have just clicked the white there and uh, let's just pardon me let's zoom in and back to the pen tool and one click two clicks three and then four and there you have it you've redrawn the white triangle now it's time to do the black uh, square so I just need to deselect from the triangle by just clicking the black or white arrow tool click off the artwork and let's just zoom in on the square once again pressing option clicking the shapes we'll just cycle through till we get the correct shape so I'll start at the top left hand corner click shift drag and then release and that's uh, that's put that square nicely there <clears throat> pardon me now it's time for oh, we need to change that color so once again I click the white square and allocate black close that down deselect off the square and now it's time to do the tri the uh, star and I want to allocate this as a white so do that and go back to our shapes tool option click and there's our star oopsie daisy I'll press option and click out and while pressing shift as well and that is pretty much right just got to drag it down and there you have it you've um, you've redrawn this logo successfully so let's get rid of these guides hide guides and let's we're still in preview mode so let's uh, take it back to view and go outline and we can now see that the logo is redrawn correctly we're not finished yet I want to uh, select the artwork and I want to group the artwork now let's uh, press sh shift click and move it to the side and here's our original artwork I'm going to go back to layer one and if we double click it I can disengage this template by deselecting the click here clicking OK and we can see if I just select all and just drag it across we can now compare the two and that's pretty much spot on so I need, now need to get rid of this layer go back to this layer click and drag it into make sure you're clicking and dragging the bottom layer dragging it into the trash can just there and that just leaves us with layer one and our redrawn art so I'm just going to select it all bring it to the center of the page and that's how you redraw a logo so let's uh, save the file and I'll save it as an AI version CS3 but also save it as a save a copy and I'm going to name it um, version 8 I'm going to save it as a EPS and press save version 8 now the reason why I do version 8 is if I send this file to a decorator or another designer and I don't know what version they're running saving as version 8 is a safe bet because if I do that anyone with 9, 10, CS, CS2 or CS3 will be able to open it so I just click OK OK and there you have it you've um, 
saved and redrawn a logo successfully. I hope that's been helpful and thanks for uh, learning a new technique at artworkexplained.com.au. Have a great day. Bye now.